As women, we like to brag about our abilities to multitask. And I'll be the first to say that multitasking is a superpower. But friends, you only need to use your superpowers when you're in danger. If you're not rescuing someone, you'll want to learn more about single tasking. And I have some great insight for you on this topic. Stay tuned. Welcome to this episode of Smart Leadership with your host, speaker, author, and influencer, Beth Caldwell. I have to admit that I wasn't thrilled with the idea of single tasking when it was first introduced to me. After all, no one likes to change their ways, and our habits are very comfortable, aren't they? But listen, multitasking, while it's a great talent and it does have its usefulness, it can lead to some dangerous side effects like mental exhaustion, elevated cortisol, increased stress, memory loss, and the worst for me, decreased productivity. I'm not willing to live with that. So how do you change this habit? Well, like anything else, you do it one step at a time. Here's what I do. First, plan your day. Now, most of us spend our days being reactive, and that's not what I want for myself or for you. I want you all to live a life of intention. What I do is choose three projects that I plan to work on in a day, and I will work on them one at a time. Whenever I find myself getting the urge to do something else like research, check email, or clean, I recognize that as a distraction, and I either ignore it, that thought, or I write it down so I remember to do it later. I have my three projects to focus on, and I continually bring myself back to my intentions for the day. You know, our brains are amazing machines. If you have trained yours to do many things at once, and you're now making a change, this adjustment is going to take some time. Notice when your brain starts to get busy and bring yourself back to the task that you're working on. Next, eliminate distractions. To help myself stay focused, I've created ways to avoid distractions, like putting a do not disturb sign on my door, shutting off the ringer on my phone, and guess what? I've adjusted my email settings to send and receive. Are you ready for this? Only one time an hour, and that's been incredible, a great time saver. Finally, resist the urge to be hard on yourself. The temptation to multitask is a strong one, so be easy on yourself. Personally, I think it's still okay to watch TV while you clean, listen to podcasts while you're driving, and yes, you can carry the dirty laundry down the steps at the same time as you carry the trash down. But when it comes to really important things, writing a proposal, calling a client, or spending time with your loved ones, one thing at a time is powerful and effective. I hope you'll give it a try. Remember, people are watching how you do things. So be an example of excellence. Keep being an influential force for good, and I'll see you next time with more tips on influential leadership. Thank you for watching Smart Leadership with Beth Caldwell. For more leadership tips and to learn about having Beth inspire and motivate your audience, visit BethCaldwell.com. Also, browse the other shows found on this Biz TV Shows Network.